I had planned to take the router mill to the Calderwood shop today for the maiden voyage, work on those two old growth pine stave drums, but I'm finding I still have a few things to button up. I need to cut slots in my fence blocks so the bit can travel through, handle, press plates or end plates. I'm sure we have enough work to keep us busy. Bill actually beat me today and Jim's staying home again. So from last week, this tension rod drum is done. Bill swapped out the heads to make it not sound like poop. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. The second one, we're not gonna paint the hoops. We're gonna hit it with oil and we'll be able to assemble it today. The bedazzled snare is gonna get repressed for a higher tension. And Bill's starting out his day with a tuba repair. Yeah, the high school up the street had a little bit of a tuba emergency. They Says he, he needs it for like Tuesday or Wednesday, which I don't know what they're gonna be doing since it's not like you can have concerts right now, but uh, whatever. Uh, some kid knocked the spit valve off the third valve slot on this old, so I'm just gonna solder it back on real quick. I do not actually know what I'm doing, just to be clear. Well, you're wiring it up to hold it in place so it doesn't move around when you're soldering and you just added some flux. Yeah. Those things are all true. I mean, I do kind of know what I'm doing. I mean, it's not like the torch is going to melt the instrument, so... Worst case scenario, it just doesn't stick and you got to redo it. Yeah. I have to clean it up, but I don't think that's going anywhere. Not my cleanest soldering job ever, but I think I can clean it up. Looks good for my house. As this model of horn goes, this is kind of a okay one, but whatever, spit valve's fixed. Never been serenaded by a tuba before. <laughs> Considering how long we've known each other, that seems <laughs> that seems a little odd. <laughs> I really like this Odie's oil. It doesn't give it too high of a sheen. It tends to fill in all the scratches, give it a nice clean look. I'm not sure how well the camera pick it up, but spinning into the section I've done right here. I'll let it sit for like 20 minutes and then buff it out. So we have a rope tension drum kit on the list. The two toms have the re-rings in. I've sanded them back. We need to get the bass drum cut, re-rings cut, installed. We got a, another snare here that needs re-rings. So we're gonna get that done. Yep.
It's the large diameter thin shell drums that always make my butt pucker the most. Yeah. A lot of flex in these things. Kind of a pain, but just cut them a little bit long and then if you have to, you know, if the cut ends up wandering a little bit on you, then you have enough that you can fix it on the standing table and not lose too much depth. It's my approach to it anyway. Yeah, it seems to be on this side, but the grain will be on this side. Alright. Nailed it. That was a pretty nice trick you had there. Shop safety tip. If you start to lose a workpiece, let it go. <laughs> make sure it doesn't hit you. I'm not trying to stick my hand in a machine to catch something. Well, to be fair, I think I did try to grab it before realizing it wasn't going to happen and letting it go in the interest of not losing my hand. Rare occasion that I see those nailed on the first shot. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I do not usually get a hole in one. I actually cut that one a hair too much, but I think that's fine. Bill got one re ring glued in each of these shells. Those have to sit. I wrestled out the full sheet of half inch plywood, got it measured out, sliced up so I can fit it in the back of my pickup and start working on this frickin' xylo case that we keep putting off, or I keep putting off. Got the shop cleaned up a bit. It's another early day because Bill has a full filming day tomorrow for the symphony dance production thing he's working on. Yep, that's gonna be a long day. But we made a couple dents. Actually, yeah. a customer picked up the tuba, another customer picked up a rope drum, so yeah, those are right. two jobs off the board and paid. Clacker's ready to ship still. Guitar slash drum straps. Yeah, guitar strap turned drum slings. Are going to Singapore. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we made, made some headway, I guess. Yeah. Soon the dance production will be over, and yeah. we can. And then it'll be go time of the West Point stuff. Oh yeah. Because I saw a post from Woodshed that they're working on printing those for us. We should have those pretty soon. I mean, probably about the time that I'm done with all this video editing, we'll get that stuff in and then we'll need to crank those out. That'll be fun though. By fun, I mean stressful. Yeah. 
see how many we can do in a day. Yeah. <laughs>